sacrifices. The first person and second person to make sacrifice so that the children of the poor can also be invited on the decision making table in the Republic of Kenya, the first and second person to make a sacrifice was Musari Mdewedi and Moses Masiga Wetangul. And they have not made those sacrifices as fools. Tunaongozwa na kitu kimoja peke yake. Kwamba for the next 10 years we want our people not to be given by government but our people to take from government what is truly theirs. Remember boss in English, there's a difference between what is ours and what is mine. We cannot be in a republic where certain parts of this country have super highways, where certain parts of this country have got 100% supply of electricity, certain parts of this country have got employment opportunities next door when that does not happen in the Luya Nation. Mudewadi, I thank you. Mudewadi, I thank you for that sacrifice. I, as a member of UDA, I have sat with the Deputy President and the deputy president has told me he has sat with our brothers and they have a message for our community. And the deputy president told me yesterday at 2.30 p.m. when I was going for a rally in a country, I tell you as follows. <laughs> It will not matter whether it is him who is the flag bearer or Wetangula or Mudabadi. What matters is what Mtumdog Reyawa Kawaida atapata hapa mkoa Maharibi. Kitu ya kwanza mesema kwamba katika development budget ya national government we will be entitled to 30% of the de development budget as the people of Western Province. Where is clear? What that means is that 
develop budget budget you know but barbara never who one billion shillings even blue yeah it means 70 billion will be for the rest of kenya and 30 billion will be for western katika distances za barabara bungoma vihiga kakamega nabusia and transoya it costs between 2 billion and 3 billion to complete a road from one end to the other so in the first financial year it therefore means that we shall do means that we shall do between 10 and 15 roads every financial year as an example the second point is that serikali wa inaongozwa na wananchi binadamu the serikali ya Kenya Hutsima nyabandu ba Western Province Kuta kwa wanendo minister Saba Kuna wanende Pamanen sectoris kumina ime Mashirika ka serikali Kwa langa mbrusungu Parastotals and state corporations Hutsima nyabandu ba Western Kwa wanende 185 Baba chairman No ba CEOs Banner that is called the big picture. Nikaba weta angula, nende mudebadi, nakaluwa, nende klavas manala, nende washia. We have come with that message. We are not forcing you to buy it. We are telling you our case. Mushwa yuji no manwa, dugyang. Mushmo paranya, dugyang. Hata huyo mzee wetu atuoni. Na wao wakuja hapa watuambie what it is that they have secured for our community if we must follow them. If they have a better package than ours. If they have a better package than ours. Then I the bullfighter and humble myself and tell you they are better than us. Let us follow them. But I know these things. They want to come, confuse our youth. Mbio, mbio, mbio. Wana pepana. Watu kutoka siaya, kutoka kisumu. Wana leta hapa, wana pika kerele. Muna fikiri walio ni wana pika kerele. Anafu wana mwambia, tibim, tiarala, ria, ugwe. After Wetangula and Mudavadi and Ruto came together, together with the leaders of Mount Kenya, Kura Yaushindi ni mapema asubui. Hiyo esabu tayari Ben Washiari amempatia. Sasa chetani ya meingia. Kwamba, we be good at the nation, lakini mbuita katamega, tuanze vita paridi, whereas people are in a race of horses, somebody wants us here to be engaged in a rat horse. Kutichukule machungu, we want to be horses like the rest of the leaders of the Republic of Kenya. For this reason, I want to beg the party leader of UDA, William Ruto, party leader of ANC, Mzaliyam Dabai, and party leader of Fort Kenya, Wetangula, please, Please, there is none of these parties that came to kill the other. UDA is who ANC, ANC is who for Kenya, for Kenya is who UDA. Where is Kia Kiongos? 
I know what I'm talking about. Wewe ukianza kurukaruka ukisema unapigia mtu wa UDA simu aingie for Kenya ama wa ANC aingie UDA sasa wewe umeanza kufuja hiyo kazi yenye sisi tunapigania. Kama candidate ako UDA mwingine ako ANC na for Kenya wacha waende kwa raia waombe kura our voters are not fools. They are going to elect the right person. Miranda Bossi. But even as you go to approach the voters, Nataka Mujulize, Kama Wetangula na Mdabadi na Ruto Wamekubaliana, Kama Hadwale na Malala Wamekubaliana, what is wrong? with the rest of the people also agree our real enemy is Azmiyo. I therefore conclude by telling you that I am not a weak leader. Please give me a minute. This is very important. If I don't do it right, these people will go away. They will not understand why decisions have been made. Vanaveru, I am not a weak leader. I am prepared to execute that which I have been working on for the last five years. But I have said, Kwamba, hivi tu zote ni mewambia waluye watapata, western itapata. Nikibeba kichwa, nitakuwa na kidanganya kwa sababu western is bigger than the, uh, my single ambition of being governor. It does not matter Kwamba Manala is younger than me. It does not matter Kwamba I am more, more experienced than Manala. What matters is what are the consequences of my decision. I am therefore going home to Marinya. Today I have passed a grave here, which was cemented according to our history here. The grave is here when you are going to the main hotel. It was cemented, that grave, in 1944. One of our heroes from Bokolonia. When he came back from the World War, I've looked at him and I've said, let what I have done bring the Abadoya people together. And as I invoke the name of Ajoha, Hurley Rombe, Moholonia, Masai Kanje. I am begging all of you, let Ruto form government to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. Don't go against it. And as I invoke Liralia Atubuha, Mukhulonya, Hurai Rumbe, Masai Kanj, I am begging you to respect the honor of allowed Mudabadi to get what he wants so that we can even be stronger together. As I invoke Atubuha, Mukhulunya, Hurley Rumbe, Masai Kanji, I'm telling you, all of you, bring honor to Kenya Plaza by ensuring 
kwamba that for which i have sacrificed malaa awe governor na kadwale mbe senator and let me tell you when i win the position of senator Kenya will be bigger. Kakamega will be more stable. And there are many things which I can only say you end seeing nothing yet. Barnabe. Barnabe. You could have president wa Kenya, Muhammadina. Muhammadina. Barnabe. You could have senator wa Kakamega, Muhammadina. Mukubalina Bana Beru Yukura ya Gavana Wakakamega Khadwale Mbona Mukubalina Ukharuli dawa shirenje ta Nuruli dawa shirenje Raila who has fucked just about each one of us will get his way and we'll have another round of fucking up we have enough had enough of it bana ver mulir ole gwerwa ole gwerwa ole gwerwa tarajiwa sasa nataka nichukue nafasi hii kukaribisha ndugu super senator governor wetu mtarajiwa 2022 ndugu yetu Cleopas Malala asante sana kwa sababu ya wakati Ningependa kwanza kuchukua fursa hii kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kutuleta leo hapa kama tuko na uhai huu. Jambo la pili ningependa kushukuru viongozi wa Kenya kwanza kutupatia mwelekeo thabiti. Mheshimiwa William Samoei Ruto, Mheshimiwa Msali Mdavadi na Mheshimiwa Weta. You have shown leadership na mimi itakuwa makosa sana kabla niseme jambo lolote ni muhimu sana mimi kama seneta wa kaunti ya Kakamega na kavana mtarajiwa kwanza nishukuru baba yangu Boni Galwale kwa ile kitendo wamefanya Mheshimiwa Boni with that with respect nataka usimame tu hapa nikushukuru kama umesimama i have something to say about you eh wewe ana ipa sabina na kwenye wai wapi duru wapi duru ya kenya kwanza asante i have to say this kwanza mheshimiwa boni wewe umetafuta kiti cha ugavana for the last 7 or 8 years sababu wakati ulichaguliwa kama senator ulianza kukua na mawazo ya kutafuta kiti cha ugavana you have more experience in leadership than me you have more qualifications than me you are a doctor of medicine mimi hata sijui mimi ni nani but wewe ni mtu ambaye umeheshimika Kenya nzima kwa maswala ya ubunge You've been a good debater in Senate and in the National Assembly. I cannot compare myself to you. Mheshimiwa Boni, wakati viongozi wetu walitukalisha chini tuanze kuongea. Hawa viongozi hawakujua 
kwamba wewe kama baba yangu tayari ulikuwa umeshanikalisha chini tumeanza kuongea hata kabla hawatukalisha chini wewe mheshimiwa boni you had all the reasons to be the gubernatorial candidate of Kenya kwanza we didn't take even 10 minutes mheshimiwa boni aka sacrifice akasema kwamba yeye aezi zaa mtoto na uwe huyo mtoto tena that was the sole reason my father alikubali kunishika mkono mimi kukuwa candidate na yeye kukuwa senator candidate boni i want to say thank you thank you thank you very much asante sana na mimi ile dawa i'm through mimi ile malipo mimi nitapatia boni ni ya kwamba kwa sababu yeye ameona kwamba Kenya Kwanza Alliance is more important than himself. Hata mimi hapa Kakamega County na leo nataka kutangaza mbele ya party leader wangu Mheshimiwa Msalia Mdavadi. Mheshimiwa Msalia you will have to release me. I am no longer an ANC candidate. I am a Kenya Kwanza candidate. I want to serve all the affiliate parties of Kenya Kwanza. Kutoka leo msiniangalie kwa miwani ya ANC peke yake. Kutoka leo muniangalie pia kwa miwani ya UDA. Muniangalie pia kwa miwani ya Ford Kenya. Nataka tuweke familia yote ya Kenya Kwanza pamoja. Sasa yule fundi wa kushona mashati zangu kama hizi sasa uache nataka kuona yellow hapa nataka kuona Ford Kenya kwa shati yangu I want to be a father figure moving forward and it's in the same spirit that I want to commit that I am going to campaign with all our candidates nikienda matungu nitafanya kazi na Alex Lanya wa ANC nitafanya kazi na Paul Posho wa UDA na candidate wa Ford Kenya tutafute hii uongozi pamoja and i will do that across this county mimi sitaki tu kukuwa governor kwa sababu mimi najipenda mimi nataka kukuwa governor kwa sababu nataka tukomboe kakamega county jambo la kwanza nyinyi mnajua vizuri sana ile uongozi wa county government ambao umekuwa hivi majuzi tumekuwa tukipokea pesa mingi kama county lakini hiyo pesa imekuwa ikitoka nje ya Kakamega County tena. We bring 15 billion to Kakamega, pesa hiyo inatoka tena nje. It has not been empowering our locals. Kwa sababu utapata kwamba kandarasi mingi ambazo zimekuwa zikipeanwa hapa. Unapata barabara ya Maram, unapata contractor anatoka kule Nyeri ama kule Kirinyaga kuja kufanya barabara zetu. Mimi mkilichagua kama gavana wenyu I am going to bring back the ownership of Kakamega people back to Kakamega people. Ninataka kuhakikisha kwamba kazi zetu za contract za Kakamega hiyo pesa tutatafuta mtu kutoka Malava constituency afanye kandarasi hapa. Tutatafuta mtu wa Huisero, mtu wa Ikolomani, mtu wa Lurambi. We must empower our local business people when I become governor. Jambo la pili kazi zetu za kuandikwa hapa kwa county we are going to follow the constitution kwamba it is only 30% ya kazi ambayo tutapeana kule nje but 70% we are going to ensure that sisi tumeeka mtu wa Kakamega hapa yeye ndio anapeana kazi as we speak right now mheshimiwa party leader Moses Masika wetangu la na mheshimiwa Mdavadi it is sad kwamba county yetu yule mtu ambaye anaandika watu kazi the chairperson of the of the county service board anatoka kule nyanza kwa watoto wetu kazi ni mtu wa hapa nyumbani we want to bring back kakamega to its people sababu huyo mtu wa nyanza wakati anaandika watoto kazi anaandika watu wa nyanza peke yake we have our nurses here we have our doctors here Ukiangalia unapata watu wa Malava hawako hapo ndani. Watu wa Lukuyani hawako hapo ndani. Watu wa Lugari hawako hapo ndani. I am committing that in my government 
I am going to ensure tumeregesha hizo ajira zimekuwa za vijana wetu na watu wetu wa Kakamega 70% of the employment opportunities must come back to our county. Mimi mkilichagua kama gavana wenu nimesema kwamba wazazi wengi wanaambiwa kwamba masomo ya sekondari ni bure. Lakini wakipeleka watoto kule wanaambiwa walipe pesa ya lunch. Mimi kama gavana wenu I have committed that I am going to put a location for feeding program. I am going to pay free lunch for all day scholars within Kakamega County. Mimi mkilichagua kama gavana wenu naenda kuhakikisha kwamba wazee mzee yoyote ambaye yako na miaka sitini kuenda mbele ama mama yoyote serikali yangu inaenda kumchukulia NHIF card huyo mzee hata lipa shilingi hata moja kwa hospitali ya county government of Kakamega wewe mzee mali umekaa ugonjwa yako ya pressure ni serikali yangu utatibu ugonjwa yako ya arthritis ni serikali yangu utatibu mimi mkilichagua kama gavana wenu i am going to ensure i pump money kwa zile self help groups za wamama na vijana and this how i'm going to pump money it is not going to be a theoretical practice mimi ninajua kwamba kuna zile kandarasi kubwa kubwa kwamba barabara hizi kubwa kubwa zinalimwa na graders but i am going to introduce what we call an economic stimulus program barabara ndogo ndogo hizi feeder roads nenda kupatia vijana wa boda boda na wamama walime na majembe tuwalipe pesa cash ikiingia kwa mifuko zao sasa mimi naomba tafadhali watu wa Kamega ikura mnaomba tafadhali mnisaidie tafadhali ninaomba tafadhali bana msimame na mimi bana msimame na mimi bana Mtazimama na mimi. Wangapi wanasema Cleo Manana for governor? Lakini ni muhimu. Ni muhimu tusitoke hapa leo kama tujasema ukweli fulani watu wa Kakamega wajue. Ya kwamba sisi watu wa Kakamega tumekuwa tukitawaliwa na mheshimiwa Uparanya. Na mimi at my age I cannot stand on this podium to start discrediting oparanya mimi nimesema yale mazuri oparanya amefanya mimi nitaendeleza yale mabaya mimi nitayakomesha ni yarekebishe kuna jambo moja ambayo oparanya anataka kufanya ambayo mimi sifurahi na hata viongozi wengine wafurahi governor oparanya has ruled us for 10 years now tungependa kumuomba yeye yeah, akimaliza aende nyumbani aache watu wa Kakamega wachague viongozi wao bila yeye kuwashurutisha <laughs> Governor Okanya has brought a project the same way we are fighting the Azmio project at national level we are also fighting an Oparanya project in Kakamega County yes. Governor Oparanya ameenda amechukua his relative anaona sisi watu wa Kakamega sisi akili yetu ni ndogo ati yeye atutawale miaka kumi. tena alete mtoto wao atutawale miaka kumi. hiyo inawezekana kweli mtoto wa dada ya mama yake governor oparanya you have the liberty to propose a leader for us but it must not emanate from a background of nepotism wewe governor oparanya chagua mtu mwingine yoyote lakini asifue mtoto wenu mimi ningependa kuomba sisi tumekubaliana mimi na mheshimiwa Bonnie Kaluwale tunaenda kukomesha hiyo mambo ya dynasty hapa Kakamega County we are going to ensure that we defeat that project na mwisho kabisa mimi mheshimiwa party leader wakati ulikana sisi kama chama cha ANC ukasema tuende tu support William Samoi Ruto tu support wetangula sisi kama chama cha ANC we are still committed to ensuring we deliver the Kenya Kwanza tickets mheshimiwa msalia you have sacrificed for William Samoi Ruto 
we have agreed and it is inevitable now kwamba tumekubaliana mheshimiwa William Samoei Ruto ndio atapeperusha ile bendera ya Kenya kwanza ndio tumekubaliana wangapi wanasema William Ruto na sisi kama jamii the reason why we are supporting William Ruto and i want watu wangu msikie ni kwamba mheshimiwa Ruto ametupatia heshima kama watu wa Luya ukiangalia kwa line up ya mheshimiwa Ruto mheshimiwa mwenyewe yako pale mheshimiwa Mdavid amepewa heshima yake yako hapo mheshimiwa Weta yako hapo Washiali yako hapo Malala yako hapo Halwale yako hapo Rashid Mohamed yako hapo sisi tumepewa heshima na mheshimiwa William Ruto hata akienda safari zake za ngambo kuongea mambo ya serikali yake hautakosa msali ya pale akitusikilia mambo yetu hautakosa weta lakini upande mwingine wa azimio mmeona kwamba hakuna sura ya mluya kule ukiangalia Raila amesha sign mkataba anasema kwamba yeye ndio atakuwa rais naibu wa rais atakuwa Kalonzo Musyoka prime minister atakuwa Muhoho Kenyatta ndugu ya Kenyatta uhuru mwenyewe sasa kwa hiyo laina kwa akili ya Raila anasema kwamba Muluya atatawala baada ya yeye kutawala miaka kumi, Kalonzo atawala miaka kumi, Muhoho Kenyatta atawala miaka kumi, ndio tufikie Muluya after 30 years It is your choice nyinyi waluya mpigie azimio na mngoje miaka 30 ndio mtawale Kenya hii ama mpigie Kenya kwanza ambaye tuko kwa serikali ya sasa hivi na tunapewa heshima. Sasa mimi ningependa kuwaomba and I want to speak to the young people who are here. I want to speak to my age mates. Wazee na achia kanwale na wengine muongee nao. Mimi nitaka kuongelesha vijana. Tafadhali vijana. Watu wa azimio wamepeana pesa mingi kupitia hata kwa local administration kupitia hata kwa chief wanapeana pesa mingi kupitia kwa county commissioners wanasema kwamba wananunua watu mlango kwa mlango vijana wetu tafadhali hiyo shilingi 500 unapewa cannot change your life hiyo shilingi 1000 unapewa will put you into the dungeon of poverty i want to beg you i want to beseech you as my my age mates tafadhali Musikubali kununuliwa na azimio kwa sababu pale kwa azimio wale watu wote ambao wako kwa azimio waluya wote wanatafuta kitu ya tumbo yao upande wa Kenya kwanza sisi wote tunasimama kiti na tunasimama kura mheshimiwa msani amdavadi amesimama kura mheshimiwa weta amesimama kura mheshimiwa cleo ninasimama kura halwale anasimama kura rashid muhamed anasimama kura lakini waluya ambao wako kwa azimio wote wameritaya kwa kura. Ukiangalia Atuoli hasimani kura. Oparanya hasimani kura. Yujin Wamalwa hasimani kura. Cyrus Kirongo hasimani kura. Nyinyi waluya fungukeni macho. Mutafata watu ambao wanasimama kura ama wale ambao wasimani kura. Tafadhali mimi nawaomba bana tusimame na Kenya kwanza nikisema arambe mnasema Kenya kwanza arambe na tumesema tarehe tisa tukitaka sisi waluya tuheshimike tumekuwa tukidaraulika kwa sababu tunapiga kura wanasema tunagawana kura yetu tunagawanyisha ningependa kuwaomba tukitaka tuwe na a good stake even more than 30% in Ruto's government sisi ni lazima tujitokeze kwa wingi twende tupige kura. Muende muhakikishe vijana wetu hamjakuja tu kupiga vuvuzela, hamjakuja tu kupiga sukuti. Alafu tarehe tisa muende mkunywe pombe mulale. I want to talk to the youth. Waluya vijana, wake up and go and vote. This is a war we are going for. Tuamuke twende tupige kura. Ndio tukihesabu kura yetu hapo wale watu wa Mount Kenya kila saa wanatuambia we have the numbers we deserve to be a certain position in this government 
The only way we can cure that is by us voting on 9th August. Wewe msichana wewe usivae tu miniskirt na virimbi kwa mdomo alafu usipige kura. Mimi nataka kuwaomba tafadhali let us vote. This is a passionate message to my age mates. And I'm going to speak to my age mates to ensure that we wake up and vote for William Samoy Ruto and the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Staki kusema mambo mengi, ningependa sasa kuchukua fursa hii kutambua tu kidogo kwamba tuko na viongozi ambao walitoka ku support wale watu wa Azimio. Tuko na chief finance officer anaitwa ambaye amekuwa akifanyia oparanya kazi. Yeye walikuwa wamemwambia atakuwa deputy governor wa baraza lakini alitoka kule amekuja kujiunga na sisi. Mheshimiwa Ingogo come. Just want to recognize you. Huyu ndio amekuwa akitengeneza rasilimali zote na kumanage pesa ya county government of Kakamega. Anaitwa Mheshimiwa John Mbogo amekuja kujiunga na timu yetu ya Kenya Kwanza. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tuko na leader of majority wa ODM anaitwa Mheshimiwa Ongoro. Pia yeye ametoka kule. Amekuja kujiunga na sisi kwa Kenya Kwanza. Tuko na MCAs ambao wame defect. Mheshimiwa David Shikala MCA kuja ni MCA ambao wame defect kwa ODM. Kuja ni kuja ni. Tuko na Mheshimiwa David Shikala wa Mayakalo Ward hapa mali tumekaa ametoka ODM amejiunga na sisi. Tuko na Mheshimiwa Jason eh Mheshimiwa uh, Luba Luba Chemuche Ward ambaye amekuja kujiunga na sisi amekuwa mwanachama wa ODM tuko na mheshimiwa huyu ndio amekuwa chief whip kwa county assembly wa ODM ametoka kule yeye ndio amekuwa chairman wa Nagaholo ODM amekuja amejiunga na sisi MCA Shikomari Shinoi tuko na mheshimiwa MCA anaitwa Lumumba Violet kutoka Chinyalu MCA wa ODM amejiunga na sisi yes tuko na mheshimiwa MCA Marama North Saido Msiritsa amekuja kujiunga na sisi kutoka ODM. Tuko na Violet Amanya kutoka Lumakanda Ward ametoka kule amejiunga kwa chama cha UDA karibu na sisi kabisa. Tuko na MCA wa Oparanya mwenyewe Mama Christine ametoka kwa ODM MCA wake mwenyewe amekuja kujiunga na sisi. Mama Grace asante kwa kupoteza. Haya tuko na huyu mama anaitwa Mama Lusweti. Dr. Lusweti. Yeye amekuwa kwa ile timu ya baraza kama deputy governor wa baraza. Mama Dr. Lusweti ametoka huko amekuja kuunga team Cleo na team Kenya Kwanza. Kwa hivyo napiga simu. Tuko na mheshimiwa Lukulu ambaye yeye ndo amekuwa chairman wa finance katika assembly ya oparanya ametoka kule amejiunga kwa chama cha UDA na Kenya Kwanza. Mulinya Benson ametoka kule kwa Azimio amekuja hapa. We are moving as a team. Ningependa huyu ndio minority leader ametoka kule amejiunga na sisi. Ningependa ai na moyo Huyu ndio amekuwa chief officer wa Oparanya anaitwa Namuju amekuwa kwa chama cha ODM parliamentary aspirant Matungu amekuja kwa timu ya Kenya Kwanza Bas nataka kukaribisha party leader wetu Mheshimiwa Msali Mdavadi na Mheshimiwa Weta wakuje wa chukue hao watu wote on board Mheshimiwa
bas 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 <coughs> kipindi ya kwanza inaishia hapo na hiyo kipindi ilikuwa ya kuongelea maneno ya Kakamega County mmeona governor wetu mtarajiwa ndugu Kileo Malala na mmeona senator wetu mtarajiwa ndugu daktari Mbone Kalwale wakiongea jamii ni zinatosha Nataka kuona kwa mikono wale wanakubaliana na mimi kwamba wanatosha. Na mimi nataka kusema ticket ticket ya Kileo Malala na ticket ya ndugu daktari Mbone Kalwale it's a strong ticket. Na mimi najua wale wengine nao pia wajitajipanga lakini hata wajitajipanga hawezi kutosha sisi. Hapa namna gani? Sasa tunataka tuende kwa kipindi cha pili na tunataka hawa party leaders wetu watuongeleshe kwanza. Hapa namna gani? Na mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii kwa heshima kubwa nikaribishe ndugu yetu party leader wa Fort Kenya baba wa Roma ndugu yetu Moses Wetangula akuje atuzalanie na tuletee ujumbe wa Fort Kenya na Kenya kwanza karibu sana music DJ hapa katika capital yetu what i always call the indivisible capital of the mlembe nation tumekuja hapa kukutana na jamii ya western na kila wakati tusisahau ya kwamba tuko na ndugu zetu wa sabaot maondelgon na wateso kule upande wa bungoma Tukiwa hapa leo tunataka kuangazia mambo ya Kakamega. Alafu mambo ya Kenya Kwanza na vile tunatembea. Kwanza kabisa nataka kumshukuru ndugu yangu Msalia Mdamadi kwa sababu tumeketi mara mingi tumesongomoza tumekubaliana ya kwamba kama hatutembei pamoja tutaendelea kupangwa, kuyumbishwa na kuaibishwa. Leo tukiwa hapa mimi nina furaha kubwa sana kwa sababu ya ndugu yetu Dr. Bone Halwale na kijana yetu kwa sasa tuona muita my son Cleophas Malala. Mimi nina historia mrefu na Bone Halwale tulisabu na yeye kwa kitchen cabinet ya wamalwa kijana hata wamalwa akiwa mgonjwa boni na mimi tulisafiri mpaka London kwenda kuketi na yeye tukarudi tukaendelea kufanya kazi pamoja tulikuwa senate iliyopita na bone halwale na yeye vile mnajua is a fearless articulate and caring legislator Alikuwa deputy wangu kwa chama cha Ford Kenya Baadaye akaamua kwenda kwa UDA and I respected his choice Nikamwambia urafiki wetu utadumu milele Boni amekuwa akikimbia kutafuta ugavana wa Kakamega Alisimama last time hakufua dafu. Alikuwa candidate wetu. Kijana Malala is a very promising leader in our region. Amekuwa MCA, hapo kwa Senate, 
and I can tell you his replacement of Dr. Harwale met the criteria that Kakameka deserved. Kwa sababu aliingia and he picked up and learned from the best you are truly here. Na tumefanya kazi vizuri sana. Aliposema nataka kuwa governor wa Kakamega, nilimwambia my son you deserve it, you have the capacity and the ability. But there is one hurdle that you have to deal with, Boni Harwale. Kwa wiki tatu hao ine zilizopita Nimekuwa na mikutano mingi sana na Boni Halwale. Na nyinyi mnajua Boni Halwale si mtu wa kuharakishwa. Akidecide kufanya kitu hivyo ndivyo atafanya. Akisema leo anaenda kupiganisha mafahari kule kwake huwezi kumpeleka kwingine. Tuliketi tukasungumuza nikamwambia Boni Sometimes you get, sometimes you don't. Nikamwambia if you don't get the one you love, love the one you have. Nikamwambia Kakamega is larger than your individual ego and ambition. Na Boni akakubali ya kwamba atateremuka asonge kando kwa sababu tukipeleka malala na halwale kama candidates wa governor kakamega you are giving an early christmas to our opponents wataichukua haraka na kuhama nayo na wao pia wamejihami wamejihami na pesa za serikali na propaganda na mambo ingine lakini mimi pia najua jamii yetu ni watu ambao mna msimamo ni watu ambao mnaweza kuchukua pesa ya mtu lakini mkamwambia sisi kura tulimaliza Boni na Cleo wamesimama hapa na kutoka kwa vinywa zao Mahaba Rekeresia Mahaba Ulila na efwenga viongozi wenye msaya kuli accept ni kwa maboli le mara kusapote kileo achawe governor wefwe boni abe senator wefwe and i can tell you the good people of kakamega it can't be any better than that boni ni mtetezi atapigana na robi kutafuta pesa za kakamega Kileo ni mchapa kazi atakaa hapa achape kazi na hiyo pesa Boni pia ni mtu ambaye huwezi kuyumbishwa atarudi hapa kuangalia ya kwamba hiyo pesa inafanya kazi sawa sawa in his oversight role and that pair is a pair of safe hands for Kakamega kwa hivyo ndugu wa Kakamega msitoke hapa mseme tulisema nini au tulimaanisha nini we have said what we mean and we have meant what we have said that boni has accepted graciously to vie for the seat of senator kakamega and cleo malala has accepted graciously to vie for the seat of governor kakamega na sisi kama kenya kwanza tukiwa na ndugu yetu William Ruto tumeketi na hao wawili pamoja na ndugu yetu Ben Wasiali na tukukubaliana that we must come back to you because you are the owners you are the trustees of Kakamega interests in terms of politics hawa ndugu zetu MCAs mmekuwa hapa kutoka likuyani mpaka kule chini Butere. Lazima tutembee pamoja. Kwa nini tutembee pamoja? Mnajua historia yetu. Mwaka wa elfu mbili na mbili tulikuwa na kiongozi wetu wa Marwa kijana. 
tulitembea na yeye and for the first time nyumba ya mlembe tuliweka kura zetu zote kwa debe moja hapo nyuma mnajua tulikuwa na mivurutano watu wengi tulikuwa tuna support majirani zetu hapa chini kwa bahari msalia akaungana na jirani yetu wakasukuma gurudumu ya ODM Shukrani ya msalia kutoka kule ilikuwa ni matusi matusi na matusi 2013 mimi nikiwa foreign minister nikawacha nikasema nataka kungania urais wa nchi tukaungana na jirani yetu ya bahari hapo tukasukuma gurudumu yake nikiwa na kalonzo msioka tukamaliza hatukushinda 2017 tukamtongoza msalia akatoka kula alikuwa pia akarudi nyuma tukasimama na jirani wa bahari tukasukuma gurudumu yake tukambeba kwa mabega yetu tukatembea kila mahali mpaka akaanza kuwa na kiburi akaanza kutuambia yeye ni muluya kuliko sisi Shukurani yake ikawa ni matusi matusi na matusi Ever so often mnaona he sets up very upstart politicians Wana siasa Duni kabisa kabisa ndio wanatutusi sisi wengine ni rika ya watoto wetu Hata jana nimeona mwingine ananitusi lakini mimi huwa nasema you cannot finish your journey if you stop to throw stones at every barking dog focus on your journey sisi tumekuja hapa leo vile tulikuwa hapa pobeleni we stood here in this same place tukawaambia kwamba tumeamua kama viongozi wenu tuungane na jirani yetu hapa mlimani tutembee tuunde serikali na huo muungano tumeuweka pamoja tumezunguka Kenya mzima but as usual in our community we have never had a shortage of Judas Iscariots they are always there kuna wale ambao wameenda kwingine